Um, you've been banging on, you know, banging the drum about the Fed being too late. Is a recession at this point now unavoidable in the U.S.? It is not unavoidable, but unfortunately the probability is going up. What is unavoidable is stagflation. And we're seeing growth coming down and we're seeing inflation remaining high. Oh. And the Fed is finally catching up to developments on the ground, but it still has some way to go. Okay, so if you look at stagflation, what does that mean for stocks? How much of it is already priced in or how much more volatility will we get? So we've gone sequentially through pricing in inflation risk and interest rate risk okay. to pricing in tighter liquidity. What we haven't priced in yet is a significant slowdown in growth. So we are mostly through the adjustment, mm -hmm. but not quite there yet. I think there's probably another leg to come. Robert, what does this mean for the U.S. consumer? They're not, are they strong enough to, to withstand this for a couple of quarters? So the consumer in general is. They still have significant savings that were built up during the pandemic with all the transfers from the fiscal side. But the issue, Francine, is distribution. There are very vulnerable segments of the population. And so far, we, we haven't seen enough being done to protect them. Now, stagflation is also, I guess, every central bank's worst nightmare. When you look at the situation in Japan, I mean, they, they were stuck in this for a long time. Is the U.S. or the world becoming more like Japan, or is it a, a you know stagflation, a transitory stagflation environment? So that is really hard um, to project at this time. Stagflation is the worst thing for central banks, no. especially for the Fed, because it puts its two objectives in conflict with each other. Um, and that's why a lot of us wanted to avoid the situation. And this situation was avoidable. That's what, what sort of upsets a lot of us. It was avoidable had the Fed not stuck to its transitory inflation characterization. Mm. Now that we're here, it is very hard to find a first best policy outcome. So the Fed is going to have to make a very difficult choice. Um, you know, a lot of people say it needs luck and skill. Yeah. Well, it needs a lot of luck at this point. 